Before I call the Honourable Member for Braindler, I remind the House that this is the Honourable Member's first speech and I ask the House to extend to him the usual courtesies. The Honourable Member for Graindler. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm very honoured to enter this chamber as a representative of the Australian Labor Party for the electorate of Graindler. I would like to sincerely thank the electors of Graindler for showing confidence in my ability to represent their interests. Grainler has always returned Labor members to this House. My presence in this House today is the result of a collective effort. First, I would like to thank my mother, Marianne Albanese, who raised me under very difficult economic circumstances. She instilled in me a strong sense of social justice and fairness. My special thanks go to my partner and best friend, Carmel Tebbett, for her constant support, advice and outstanding political judgment. I have been extremely fortunate to receive the support of many party members and trade unions. I owe a great deal to people such as Tom Uren, with whom I worked for four years. To the very end, Tom Uren was an optimist. He said, and I quote, I hope that right to the end of my days, I'll always struggle for progress. Those of us who remain can honour his legacy by living by this creed. They have, I hope, installed in me a sense of history and purpose to my activity in the Labor movement and now as a parliamentarian. So I have uh, a big job to do. I will do it as I have uh, undertaken every task since I was elected into uh, this house in 1996 and give my all for the cause of Labor. I have devoted... Uh, my life to advancing the cause of Labor. Anthony Albanese is best known for being one of Australia's most plain talking politicians. Absolutely. You up there on the DJ stand, you could go and play Ibiza next. <laughs> right! An apology that's got out with the crowbar is not taken seriously. But there are millions of Australians voted for us on this side. And they also deserve to be represented. I joined the Labor Party while still at school. This was a natural choice, for I come from three generations of rank and file party members. My time as Assistant General Secretary of the New South Wales branch confirmed my belief in the importance of fighting for genuine participatory democracy, and I'm proud to have been selected through the rank and file pre-selection system. We should never forget that there are many in society who, through circumstance, never secure long-term employment or advance beyond a very low wage. We must also remember that women's wages are still not equal to those earned by men, and their lifetime participation in the workforce remains irregular. For myself, I will be satisfied if I can be remembered as someone who will stand up for the interests of my electorate, for working class people, for the labour movement, and for our progressive advancement as a nation into the next century. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is the party that produces progressive advance for Australia's future, whether it be in education, whether it be in health, an economy that's about jobs and opportunity for all Australians. I'm here today to announce that I will be re-nominating as the Labor candidate for the electorate of Grainler at the upcoming federal election. I like fighting Tories. That's what I do.